So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Monster Arts 2014 Godzilla. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a very cool looking style box for this Godzilla which is basic for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla line. We do get a little bit of a window right there on the left side of the box and as you can tell it is a claw slashing mark and you'll see that throughout the entire box which I think looks pretty awesome. On the right here says Godzilla. We do get an image of the figure right there. It says SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 and I do have a price tag from the retailer that I bought it from. So thanks for ruining the box retailer. And then we do get the Tamashi Nations and Bandai. And then the bottom of the box has the barcode of Blubbly Blast stuff nobody cares about. And then here is the top of the box with more cloth slashing marks looking pretty cool. And then here's the one side of it. We do get a cool image of the figure right there. And then here is the other side with some more cloth slashing marks. And then the back of it shows a few poses you can get the figure into, and we don't get a single accessory. Thanks a lot, Tamashi Nations. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at the King of Monsters. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and Tamashi Nations did a fantastic job with this 2014 movie Godzilla. This thing really looks dope. I do have a couple issues. My main one is the eyes, once again, are crooked on this figure. As you can see, his left eye is looking down, the pupil, and then the right eye is looking straight ahead. So, if it's one thing I cannot stand is when you put on crooked eyes. They're both looking in two different directions, and it's stupid. He's not a damn chameleon. So I hate when figure companies do that. They need to stop it. I know this is an older figure, and they've gotten better at it. But it's just, it irritates me. But other than that, I think they did a great job with the head sculpt. I heard his snout isn't movie accurate, but I think it looks pretty good. It's, it looks good to me. I like how we have the articulated jaw as well. And they did some nice uh, paint sculpt work on the inside of the mouth. They painted it like red on the uh, roof of his mouth and the bottom. And then we get his tongue there, which has like a glossy paint on it. And they did a nice job with the tongue, plus you can articulate it, which is pretty cool. The teeth look good, nice sculpt, the paint's alright on them. On them. I just don't know why there's red paint all throughout them. And even on the end of his snout, there's red paint on the top and bottom of his snout there. It just looks weird to me. But the sculpt of the head looks dope. I like the way it looks on the top of his head, above his eyes. Very nice sculpt work. I think the snout looks nice too, so very good job there. Very, very, very good paintwork throughout this figure. I feel like it could have been a little bit better around, uh, like, the teeth and the mouth and everything. And then we do get, like, a lighter green on his neck and then on his, uh, like, his torso here. And then we do get it under his arms as well on the palm of his hands, that lighter green. And then we do get a little bit on the inside of his legs. And I like when you articulate his leg out. They continued the sculpt work on, in there. It's not just a huge gap. You do see a little bit of it, but it's really not that bad. And I do like the sculpt work here. Very good uh, sculpting. And the texture of his skin, just beautiful sculpt work on it. Very reptilian looking. And the legs, nice job with the legs there. Whoever sculpted this really did a fantastic job. And the lower legs. And then I heard his feet are supposed to look like how elephants' feet do. So they kind of made his toes and toenails a little bit longer than they should be. But I actually like the way they look better this way than if they really do look like elephant feet. I can't remember in the movie though. But beautiful sculpt and paint work on him. Do get a little bit of a lighter green on his toenails too. And then there's the bottom of him. So good job throughout the front of the torso and the legs and the arms and everything. I love the way the hands look too. Very cool looking. Nice sculpt work all throughout him. Now, we do get my favorite part of the figure, which is the whole spine piece. I think that yeah, just looks dope as hell. They did an amazing job sculpting it. And they are sharp, so be careful of that. And you do see a little bit of shading, like right here on his back, all the way up to his neck. But this piece here, they forgot to add the shading on. I don't know if you guys could tell, but there's no shading on this piece. It's on that piece and then all running down here. It's like they missed putting the paint shading on there, so that is a little bit disappointing. But the sculpt all throughout his back and the spine piece just look incredible. Definitely the best part about this Godzilla. That thing just looks freaking badass. Get these paint shading over here as well. And then his tail continues all the way down his tail. 
very good job with that and he does have an extremely large tail which we will measure shortly but just love the sculpt work and then we do get that uh that lighter that lighter green on the bottom of his tail so good job with the paintwork on that I mean overall I think they really did an excellent job with this Godzilla and if you always wanted a 2014 Godzilla I would say pick this one up because it looks great on display I'm not the biggest Godzilla fan but I love the new movie and I wanted a 2014 Godzilla figure and I knew SH Monster Arts was definitely the way to go I do have an issue with his eyes and I feel like the mouth isn't painted great with all the added red paint on his snout and his teeth and everything and I do wish his eyes we're both looking in the same direction because I can't stand when you get crooked eyes on a figure. But other than that, the paint and sculpt really look fantastic on this Godzilla and I'm very happy with it. But anyway, continuing on. Moving on to the accessories. Actually, we don't get anything included with this figure. And that's something that's pretty disappointing about this 2014 movie Godzilla. They didn't include a single accessory with this piece. And I know they could have given us an atomic breath effect with a stand or maybe some miniature city buildings or just something to include with this figure so he has a few accessories because it's it's just disappointing especially for what he originally retails at which is about 68 bucks and that's a lot of money and to get gypped with no accessories it's just something that's a little disappointing but anyway let's continue on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of Godzilla and the length of his tail we will measure how long his tail is first and it looks like it's a little bit over 10 inches long and now for the height of Gajira it looks like he stands about six inches and a quarter of an inch tall and then here he is compared to the Mezco 112 Punisher and the SH Monster Arts Predator Wolf and then here he is compared to the Comic Cave Studios Mark 38 Igor and the Good Smile Company Figma Avengers Hulk and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Shadowland Daredevil Sorry I don't have any other Godzilla figures to compare them with. But anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, we do get some very good movement for this Godzilla. And especially for it being a Godzilla figure. Now the jaw is articulated, so it can hinge up and down. And it goes down about that much, which is pretty good. And also the tongue is slightly uh, movable as well. It can go side to side and up and down a tiny bit. So I do like how the jaw and tongue are articulated. The only thing about the jaw is it can pivot. So the jaw goes off center and it looks like Derpy Godzilla. So you just got to line it up properly or it just looks a little weird. <laughs> That's something that is a bit irritating, but it can be fixed uh, fairly simple. Now for the next, we do get three points. We get the upper neck joint, the middle, and then the lower one. My upper neck joint is pretty loose on mine, so that is a bit irritating. But it does go up and down a tiny bit, as you can see. And then it also does pivot. And then it goes side to side a little bit. The middle joint goes up and down a little bit. It really doesn't swivel that much, and it can pivot a little bit. Now the lower neck joint goes up and down a pretty good amount actually and then that joint pivots a little bit and then slight swivel so with all the joints at the neck Godzilla can look down about that much and then looks up about that much as you see my upper neck joint how loose it is it won't even stay up now for the arms here I believe they are on ball joints right here at the shoulder because you can get some pretty good movement out of them as you can see right there and they do go out to the side about that much they can pivot and then they go up and down so pretty good movement there now for the elbows we have double jointed elbows and Godzilla's arms can go in about 90 degrees they also do swivel where the joint connects into the bicep and where it connects into the forearm and then the wrists are on a ball hinge so it can swivel and then they hinge back and forth now we do get two points of articulation at the torso we have the upper torso right here and then the lower torso and we get some pretty good movement out of both of them the upper torso does go up and down and I do like as you see right here this spine piece they continued to sculpt it so it doesn't leave a weird gap there so I really do like that they did that but you do get some nice uh, forward and back movement with the upper torso and then it does pivot a little bit and then 
really don't get much swivel out of the upper torso, but you do get a little bit of pivot. Now the lower torso really doesn't go forward and back, but we do get very nice pivot with the lower torso there, as you can see that movement. And then it also does swivel, so good movement with both those torso joints combined. Now for the legs here, I believe they're connected with ball joints just like the shoulders, because you can get them to pivot and then they do go out to the side as you can see right there but you have to be careful because the leg kinda goes over this piece so you gotta tuck it back in to get the leg back in there and then Godzilla can kick forward a really good amount and then his legs also do go back a tiny bit we have double jointed knees that bend back about 90 degrees and I believe at the upper joint at the knee here it is on a ball joint because you can move it around a little bit and then it does swivel as well, and then it does swivel where it connects into the lower leg. And then we do have another joint at the lower leg here that does swivel, and then it can hinge back and forth and pivot a little as well. Now the ankles, they do swivel, they hinge up a really good amount and hinge down a decent amount, but we get some really good pivot at the ankle there. Very nice movement, especially with the lower leg joint and the ankle, you get some great movement with both those joints combined. Now finally for the tail we have 23 points of articulation so you get some really great movement throughout the entire tail here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So they, the tail can go side to side as you can see there. So I do like that and then it can go down but I don't think you're really going to be doing that. Uh, I can go up as well. So I really love the movement. And then all of them swivel. Also, you could swivel all the points of articulation at the tail. That's something I really like about the Godzilla Monster Arts. The way Tamashii Nations articulates their tails. So overall, I think you really get some nice movement with this Godzilla. And like I said, for being a Godzilla figure, you really get some great articulation you're going to be able to get him in some pretty cool Godzilla poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway that is my review of the SH Monster Arts 2014 Godzilla hope you enjoyed it if I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I'd have to give it a 7.5 if you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure you can head over to agelessgeeks.com he does carry the SH Monster Arts Godzilla line and don't forget when you purchase something from there to enter a code named Daredevil to get yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because it's Godzilla the King of Monsters. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get a very cool looking style box for this Godzilla and that's pretty basic for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla line. We do get a cool... I do have a price tag on it from the retailer that I brought brought it from. Ha <laughs> damn. And then the bottom of the box has the... I do have the price tag of where I bought it from on the box for some reason. Then it says Tamashii Nations and Band-Aid. So we do get a very cool looking style box. That we do. So now for the articulation, we do get some pretty good movement for this ba -ba 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 The Comic Cave Studios Mark 38 Igor and the Gucha ba -ba 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 Or something like that, so it's just you, booey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a